Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat 1. We just got some fantastic leaks. Apparently, some American Girl stores got the newest birth snow collection and Halloween outfits. I didn't expect for either of these collections to be released so early. I have more pictures and the prices, so if that's something you'd like to know, keep watching this video. And if you're new to this channel and interested in all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes I post on other days as well. I also post the latest American Girl news and lights. I also post crafts and unboxing. This image is from the Instagram account AG Girl and Adult. I'll put the link to it in the description box below. Both the Burnt Stone Collection and the Halloween outfits will be released this Thursday. It's going to be August 3rd. It's not the best timing in my opinion. That's when Claudie's new items are going to be released. So she's going to get overshadowed again. Not nice American girl. I'll show you the Halloween outfits later. Let's first talk about the birthstone outfits. As you can see, there are 12 of them for each month of the year. These outfits retail at $52. That sounds like quite a steep price, but the outfits look pretty detailed. None of the shoes look plastic. I think they're all made out of faux leather material. And there are definitely some sort of rhinestones on the outfits themselves. They look pretty similar to the concept art that American Girl sent to some customers last year. But the January one has a skirt instead of pants. I think this is a really cool concept. I'm sure people would like to buy just one outfit, which is their month's outfit. And if somebody can afford it, they might buy the entire collection. I'm still on the fence about them. They look better than I expected, but I would like to see them in real life before I commit to such a big purchase. I think my personal favorite is the turquoise outfit. It's the March outfit. Please let me know in the comments which one of these outfits is your favorite. Also, let me know if you're planning to buy any of them. And by the way, this is what their boxes look like. They all have a matching look, and I love how the crystals are arranged in sort of a rainbow pattern. The packaging is definitely really nice. I love how they have a uniform look like they're part of a set. I also have another picture of this collection to share. This was shared by Dolly Sisters on Facebook. Apparently this is what the birthstone collection display is going to look like, and it looks like the entire collection is meant to be mix and match. I don't see a lot of potential because a lot of colors will be clashing, but I can see how you can mix and match with some of the pieces that were released earlier. Let me know in the comments what you think about the mix and match idea for this collection. Now let's take a look at the newest Halloween costumes. This was shared on Instagram by the account AG Girl and the Doll. We got four new Halloween outfits, as well as an accessory set. Here's another picture of the new Halloween costumes. This one was provided by Dolly Sisters on Facebook. According to her, all the Halloween costumes are $40. The Midnight Bat costume will include a long sleeve romper with purple glitter bat wing, headband, black boots. The bat costume is new this year, and it looks similar to the previous year's cat costumes. I think it's a cute idea, and I think it looks cute in the dolls. This year, we also got a new version of the witch costume. It looks a little bit lazy to me. It's basically the witch costume from 2021, but with pink instead of green. I definitely like green better. Pink just seems so boring for a witch costume, and overall this seems a little bit lazy. Anyway, for $40 you can get yours this year. The Trick or Treat candy costume is new this year. It kind of looks like a candy corn costume. I think it's really cute and this might be my favorite Halloween costume this year. It includes a dress with a black satin bodice, layers of satin candy corn colors, a headband with candy corn and glittery shoes. Like I said, this one's my favorite this year. And it looks like we got the skeleton costume reused from last year. I got one last year, so I'm probably not going to be buying it this year. We also got a new trick-or-treat set this year. It'll retail at $28. It includes a jack-o'-lantern bucket, chocolate graham crackers, lollipop, ghost lollipop, and serving mixed candy corn. Overall, I think this is a cute collection for this year. I'm just not impressed with the witch costume. Let me know which of these costumes you're planning to buy and which one's your favorite. 
That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time!